Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I was at Pottery Barn the other day and they had these beautiful birchwood trees and they were pretty expensive. So I wanted to see if I could make them for less and I am so happy with how this one turned out and I wanna make two more for this table to go on either side of those two houses. So I figured I would make a video real quick to show you guys how I made this. Like I said, I was super impressed with how this turned out, especially because I made it using all recycled materials. So if you want to see how I made this Pottery Barn dupe, then stay tuned. Okay, so the first step is to make your cone. If you want to make a tree that's the size of the one that I already made, that one is about 22 inches, so just under two feet. So to make that size, you're just gonna need a standard piece of poster board. I got this one two for $1 at the Dollar Tree, and you're gonna wanna start using the shorter end. And how I made this is I took a pen and tied some string around it. You're going to put your thumb over the string on one end of the poster board, and then you're gonna take your pen, starting from the other end of the poster board, and while keeping the string tight, you're just going to make a half circle. You're gonna draw a half circle, just like this, and then you would cut that out, and that is gonna be the size of the large tree that I showed you. Since I already have one of the big trees, I wanna make two smaller trees to sit on either side of it. So I turned my poster board the long ways, and I'm just gonna start in about the center of the poster board and then putting my thumb over the string on one corner. So this tree, as you can see, is gonna be quite a bit smaller, which is what I wanted. And I'm just gonna make one more on this side. Okay, so now that I have those two pieces cut out, I am just going to fold them like this until they make a cone shape. All right, so this is the best that I could do. They're not gonna be perfect, and that top part is probably gonna have a little hole like mine does, but we'll cover that later, so it's not a big deal. Once you get it the way that you want it to, you just hot glue these pieces together. Standing underneath the lights Look into each other's eyes Tired snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit Hear the sound of empty streets Yesterday has gone to sleep So all that's left is you and me I can promise you're the All right, now I have my two cones and like I said, it's okay if this part isn't perfect because we are going to be hot gluing pieces of the cardboard over top of that so it'll be completely covered up. So for the next step on my first tree I used cardboard from cereal boxes and other boxes like that that I could find um, in my kitchen. For these trees I am going to try the same method only I'm going to be using a brown paper bag from Trader Joe's but basically what I did is I just hand drew the shape of the first leaf that I was going to make and I cut that out and I used this piece as a stencil and basically traced it all around and I'm gonna just be cutting these out and the reason I traced them is because I want them to be somewhat the same size. Cool. 
steps into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound of empty streets And yesterday has gone to sleep So all that's left is you and me Okay, after you have all of these cut out, you're gonna grab your hot glue gun and we're ready to start gluing them on your cones. So we're gonna start by putting a little hot glue on the back side of the paper and then I'm starting just lining all of these up in a row and kind of overlapping. It doesn't have to be perfect, but try to keep them in a straight line with a slight overlap. dry for a little while we're gonna start bending the leaves like I've started to do at the bottom and the easiest way to do that is to turn it like this and as you look up you can just kind of see pieces that need to be bent and you just keep on turning and bending until you get to the top Alright, so when you are done bending, it should look something like this and it looks a lot more like a tree as you can see. After working now with both the um, cardboard and the brown paper bag, definitely the brown paper bag was a lot easier to work with just because the pieces weren't as thick so they were a little bit easier to bend. So if you're trying to decide if you want to do cardboard or the brown paper bag, keep that in mind. The brown paper bag seems to be the easier one to work with. For this next step, I'm just going to be taking some very watered down white acrylic paint. I'm just using this um, satin acrylic paint from Craftsmart in white and I added a bunch of water to it. I don't know if you're technically supposed to do that, but that's what I did with my first one. So that's what I'm gonna do for this one also. And then I'm just gonna take a paintbrush. So now I'm just gonna be dipping my brush in and wiping off some excess on this paper towel and then just painting onto the tree. Not in any particular order, just kind of random and this is gonna kind of give it a whitewashed effect. I've seen gladness, I've seen sorrow. I'll tell you a story of a new tomorrow.
what the little village I have set up on my dining room table looks like so far. Unfortunately, I ran out of hot glue, so I'm going to have to finish the second small one that's going to go on that end tomorrow. But I am super excited and thrilled with how this turned out. It was super affordable and really easy to make. If you guys decide to make one of these, make sure you tag me on Instagram so I can see. I will leave my Instagram handle in the corner here. Make sure to subscribe for more Christmas DIY videos. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Stay true to that fire in your heart and your soul. Don't drench your desire.